We're starting off the day and we got a commercial trip for you guys today. Haven't done the commercial trip in a while. We got Jordan back behind me. He's getting his stuff ready. I'm getting my stuff ready. I got my big old Maxell bottom reel. We're gonna be pulling on some snappers and then maybe do some king fishing in a little bit. But gotta finish getting stuff set up and then get fishing. First bait going down. See if we can make it fast. I'll put, I'll put that kingfish rod out in a little bit too. See how we sit. I missed the fight, but that's what we're looking for right there. Took a quick little break from the red slayage. I'll show you what we got. Switching up gears right now, we're hopping in the water to do some spear fishing, which you know I love. I had a nice king come up, give me a really good shot, and I was able to roll him. Here's a, another shot of that. I'm using my Koa 120 Euro, and I just spined that thing. I hit him perfect. That is the El Rolo shot I'm always talking about, and he literally did an El Rolo there. Uh, the spear did not penetrate all the way through, I thought. That's what it looked like. And as I pulled him up, I could tell that is the case. So I pulled him up easy. I got a really nice, solid king. I thought he was about a 20-pound king when I pulled the trigger, and it ended up being a much chunkier king. Ooh, that's a monster! That's a good one! That's a good one, dude! Yeah! This is that king. Just stoned him. Solid smoker going in the box Woo! next thing i know i look up and i see jordan's hooked up on something he's fighting it he's reeling it in on the electric and it was a nice red grouper i actually thought it was a gag at first because red disappears pretty high up in the water column i just saw a nice grouper coming up 
I swam over to it. I didn't want it to pull the hook, and I knew he would have had to go net it by himself, and that could be kind of tricky, especially with a big electric. So I decided to go ahead and get a nice little securing shot for him, grab him, and throw him up on the boat. Once I hit that thing right in the head, I knew he wasn't coming off, and we had him strung up on the That's spear. That's a heck of a red grouper, dude. Look, he has your other baits. I know. I'm eating my bait. <laughs> I just shot him because I knew you couldn't net him by yourself or it'd be hard. No. You had him hooked good on that circle. Dude, that is sick. That's a nice fish. That might be the fish of the day so far. Oh, yeah, right here. Nice that one. Came. Oh, yeah. Right. You want him in here? No. After I got back in the water, there was a bull shark hanging around, which I'm guessing came up on the red grouper. And I had this shark with these cobias swim up to me like three times. It was a shark. He had three cobias. And I had a shot at the cobias several times, and I just thought it was a little small. Uh, Jordan ended up catching one of the cobias, and it was about 35 inches. It was a nice keeper cobia. Uh, and then after that, back to the king action. I lined up a shot on this king, and I'm using that 120 euro. I haven't been using it lately, but this is my go-to gun. I've had this gun for years. I'm really, really used to it. I feel super comfortable taking shots on it, and I knew I hit this king really good. I just didn't know if I had the power to go all the way through him, because again, it's my, it is my smaller gun, and these kings can be very, very deceiving, especially when they're real big, and they're further away than you think they are. You might think it's a, I thought, again, this was a 20 pound fish, and it was another fish well into the 30s. I kept grabbing him, he kept shaking and getting away and pulling real hard, dragging me through the water. Uh, but again, like the first one, I was eventually able to get a real good grip on him right here. I shoved that spear all the way through and get a hand on it and that's when this king was done. Quickly I grabbed my knife to dispatch him, kill him faster. It's for a couple of reasons. I mean, first off, it's safer for us as divers, but then again, it's also nice to kill the fish faster. No need to have it suffer any more than necessary. So, solid king there, going in the boat again with the dive knife in its head still. Now here's a fish I really like to hunt. I shot a ton of Spanish mackerel when learning how to spearfish. It's a great fish to practice your aim, practice your hunting techniques, getting close to fish. They're a small target. They're often moving fast. I hit this one a little high, but still had a good enough shot to be able to land the fish. And when I landed this one, just like in the other fish, I grabbed the knife, I brained him, uh, quickly killed him, threw him in the boat, and now we're going back onto another king. Again, pretty far shot for this gun. That's a pretty long shot. I hit him towards the tail. Between those two fins, you'll see where I hit him. It's a really good holding shot on fish like kingfish, Spanish mackerel, wahoo. Not that I have a ton of wahoo experience, but that's just what I have learned from the spearfishing community. That right there is a really good holding spot. It's tough meat, it's less likely to pull out or rip out, and I brained this one with the spear. So it was a kind of fast paced day. I gotta shave, look at that. Kind of fast paced day. We got our reds, we got some bonus fish. Jordan got the grouper and the kings. I love shooting kings. I've said it over and over. They are my favorite fish to shoot that I regularly see. Obviously I'd rather shoot a wahoo or a yellowfin tuna or something like that. But kings from what I'm around, they're, the way they just look in the water, these green fish, they kind of appear out of the murk. It's like a ghosty, ghostly figure, we'll call it. And then when you hit them, it's either like that first one you saw where just, I didn't stone them, it's technically not a stone shot, it's a spine shot. But it did the same effect, just froze them, never fought. The spear didn't go all the way through, which I could tell, so that's why I didn't pull that one real hard at first, I went easy with them. Uh, or sometimes you hit those things, I got rocked by one, one of the first big king fish I shot years ago, probably 50 pound king. I shot it at about 60 feet down and it ripped all the line off my reel before I got to the surface. My mask got, it yanked me, my mask blew down to my neck, and I had no idea what happened when I got to the surface. It was crazy. So you never know what's gonna happen. If you don't roll a big king, like a 35, 45 pound king, then just craziness breaks out, and that's actually not what happened at all today. I had two very good shots on kings, and it was pretty easy. Made some good work of it. We're gonna get these things gutted, and we're gonna give you a good look at them. This box is so cold. Bunch of ice under there. We're gonna get these things floated, but everything is nice and cold in here right now. Oh, yeah. And Jordan's starting gutting. So I'm gonna get this camera set up. I'm gonna get a shot of these two kings, then I'll start gutting. There they are. 
couple of kings. We're gonna get these things all gutted, cleaned up, and to the market. Yes, sir.